and welcome to the American Dream Selling West Phoenix. I'm Matt Karen, And I'm Shailene Karen, and we'll be your host today as we take you to Litchfield Square, Litchfield Park's highly anticipated new mixed development project. But first, we're gonna stop over to Litchfield Park City Hall to meet with the city manager, Matthew Williams, and his projects manager, Woody Scouten. We're gonna go over the details of the project with us and take us out onto the site where Litchfield Square is currently being built. Let's go check it out. We're here with the Litchfield Park City Manager, Matthew Williams, who's going to be giving us a bit of an introduction into what Litchfield Square is going to be. Thanks for your time today. Thank you for being here. Yeah, so tell us about it. So Litchfield Square is a great project. It's a 26 acre mixed use project, 30 years in the making. It's a great project in so many ways that it's city owned, city developed. It's the city's opportunity to build a modern downtown square. It will surround a two and a half acre park with mixed use buildings around it. The mixed use buildings will have commercial on the first floor, office on the second floor, and maybe some residential on the third floor. It's 400,000 square feet. Get a long time coming. We're very excited about this project and what it brings to Litchfield Park. Us too, we're looking forward to it. I live here personally and look forward to shopping, dining here, and seeing this develop. It's so rare to get to see a city build its own downtown square. Certainly been a long time coming. Our special projects manager, Woody Scouten, will be speaking with you guys and can answer any technical questions you may have. Awesome, we appreciate it. Hi Woody, thank you for being with us today. Woody Scouten is the city's special projects manager. He is over here talking about Litchfield Square with us. Can you tell me a little bit about it today? The idea is to have the Central Park, two and a half acre park in the middle, and then have all the buildings focused on the park to create that kind of synergy in it. How many levels are you guys thinking for this project in these buildings that we have coming out today? We think that two stories would probably be enough to create that 400,000 square feet, but a developer wants to come in and propose three stories, you know, we'll consider that. Parking, it looks like we are gonna have to figure that out, right? Yeah, parking is gonna be a big issue. Okay. With the 400,000 square feet, we're gonna need somewhere around 1,600 spaces. 400 of those will be on the streets, on the ground, and about 1,200 in parking garages. And you know, Litchfield Park is very unique in its architecture. So what are you guys thinking for the structure and what it's gonna look like? That's a very important element of this project to the City Council. When they approved the plan in 2019, they pointed out the church at Litchfield Park, which is a 1937 building, the wigwam goes yes. back to 1929, and then the elementary school building as well. And the idea is that the new buildings in Litchfield Square would honor that architecture. So I know that there's different types of businesses that are gonna probably wanna be a part of this. Are there certain types of businesses you'd like to see coming in versus ones that maybe are not so desirable for what you're trying to achieve? We definitely wanna see a higher end retailers, you know, specialty shops, a wide range of restaurants so that people have a good choice. Is there any way we can get out onto the site and actually take a look at where some of the stuff is gonna be going? Yeah, sure. Yeah, we can go out there and walk around. That'd be great, let's do it. All right, so where can we check out first? Well, I can show you where the park's gonna be over here. All right, that'd be great. This whole two and a half acres here, right in the middle of the project, will be the park. This is the South Lawn area where we can hold special events. Up in that corner will be an amphitheater with concerts and just kind of impromptu performances. Okay. Over there will be Palm Plaza in an open area that people can relax in. Okay. So we have a playground way up oh, in, in the north end there. Our kids will love that. And this street we're just about finished with and this traffic circle right here. Looks great. It looks like it meshes well with what's out on Litchfield Road and Village Parkway's intersection. That's the idea is to try to make the transition from Litchfield Road and the other side of Litchfield Road into this project. Thank you so much for today. I mean, we really look forward to continuing to watch the progress and finding out how it turns out. Thank you yeah, very much. So much. We're glad time. we're glad you were here. Yeah. Thank you, Woody. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Well, that was such a great tour. We learned so much. It was a lot of information that we got from Woody and Matthew about Litchfield Square. Thank you guys for tuning in today and we will see you next time.